Jarrett Blevins again with another video log. This is week six. Um, I split my second workout of the week into two separate workouts again. I actually worked out four days this week. So this is the second part, which is um, sumo deadlift and some floor press. Uh, sumo deadlift was extremely difficult this week. I felt really tired on every rep. All the reps feel felt really slow. And so just tried to get through it the best I could. Sometimes that's all you can do. The first rep of all of these, I tried my narrow stance that I've been working with. Um, and then I would go out wider. Every time I did that, the wider felt better. I felt stronger out of the bottom when I went wide. Whereas I felt uh, I almost couldn't do another rep when I was in close. But I also felt like I couldn't get my quads activated. I think they were just too tired. I've been doing a lot of leg work. I totaled up all the volume for the workouts uh, over the past two or over the past five weeks and looked at how much weight I've actually been moving with upper and lower body. And so, and also the last few days I had done a lot of this narrow stance sumo. I think uh, four out of the last five workouts I'd pulled from the floor. And so I think it's time to start either using some snatch grip work or pulling from blocks, pulling from a deficit, something to change it up because I think I'm just pulling from the floor too much. But I did get the sets and reps that I had scheduled for myself. It was very hard, but got through it. I also uh, started doing my floor press and was working with the slingshot today. I got one of those for Christmas, and so that was really exciting. Um, I was doing triples today and actually went up and I think matched matched the, my PR or 10 pounds under my PR for floor press with the, uh, with the slingshot. And it does seem like it's going to allow me to do whatever I can max on for three to four repetitions. Maybe more. I'll see how to work it out. I think my tricep strength is pretty good. So really enjoyed adding the extra volume in with upper body because of that slingshot. So this is the next workout, which was actually the fourth day of the week that I worked out. But it's my normal day three assistance work. And I did pause squats again today, but now I'm going to be... Uh, lowering down to the intensity protocols with uh, the RTS protocols, which is four sets of two. It's supposed to be four sets of two and a nine or 10 RPE rate of perceived exertion, but these were actually probably more around eight to nine um, until I started working up higher, but 405 felt pretty good. I went a little lighter today than I normally would have, but just so I can recover. I've been feeling a little beat up and a little tired lately, and so I decided to give myself a little break mid-cycle. I also, as you can see here, uh, got some new shoes. These are the Addy Power by Adidas. Um, for whatever reason, they feel a lot more stable than the other Olympic shoes I was wearing. Maybe that's because they fit. The other ones I've, uh, the white ones I've been using are two sizes too big. Um, but they're still a really good shoe. Uh, however, the Addy Power uh, it fits my foot. It grips the ground really well. And the heel is about half the height of the white ones that I have. And so my knees are not going forward as far. And it's a lot easier to hit depth. Uh, this is a weird angle to look at a little bit. It, it's hard to tell where, uh, where my hip and my knees are in relation to one another because the camera's a little too high. But I'm way below parallel on these uh, reps. And it was easy to get there. This is probably the easiest it's been to get this low ever. Uh, additionally, the anterior pelvic tilt that I've been struggling with is getting better all the time. I didn't stretch too much before this workout and was still able to not have any problems. I've had a little tightness in my lower back, but things are going really well. In these uh, dead stop benches, I was focusing on spreading the bar. I've been thinking a lot in my benching um, when I'm bringing it down, really gathering and, and trying to bend the bar in an upward shape, like an upside down U. Um, and so bend it on the way down and then spread it on the way up. When you spread on the way up, that activates the triceps a lot more as well as the shoulders. It also helps keep a natural flare to the elbows where they flare back to the sides. And that's really what these dead stops can work on. If you push your hands out and let the torque push the bar up. Um, it's just one cue that's been helpful for me lately. Um, pretty easy to hit these doubles on 405. I thought about rep maxing on this last set, but decided against it just because I want to beat myself up. 
And to finish uh, out the main assistance work I did today, I went with snatch grip deadlifts. I was rereading some of the uh, original Cube by Brandon Lilly. And he really likes snatch grip deadlifts, and I need some more variation in my deadlifts, and so I thought this was a good idea. I started out with 225 off of a flat, um, just same height as my feet, and went from there. I can do a lot better with conventional stances when I'm in Olympic shoes. It's really still uh, difficult for me to get down when I'm wearing my uh, the chucks that I have, but in Olympic shoes it feels really good, and my speed was working pretty well today. So after I did this set, I decided to go for deficit snatch pulls. And the way that these platforms are set up, it's pretty easy to do that. You can get a two-inch deficit just by rolling it right off the platform here, and it matches up pretty well. These are probably going to be a staple for me on my assistance day to get a little extra deadlift work in. I felt my bench increase on this cycle of the cube already, as well as my squat. But it seems like my deadlift is lagging behind, and I really want that to go up. Um, when, uh, when nationals roll around, I'd like to be closer to 700, but right now I'm in the mid sixes when I'm pretty fresh, and so I've got a lot of work to do there. But what I was reminded of uh, through this workout was you've got to focus on what's important, and what's important is the total. And so I can't spend all my time and just switch over in my programming and put a bunch of deadlift work in like I've been doing. That's not the right way to do it. I have to stick to the plan, and I have to think in these 10-week blocks. And so... These snatch grip deadlifts are good for the assistance day, but I've got to stop doing so much pulling from the floor and just focus on improving all the lifts. I think this is important for the Christian life as well. I think that when we're looking for our goal, which is Christ, which is living in a cruciform life, a life where we die to self, uh, as well as living a, a resurrected life in the here and now, empowered by the Holy Spirit to walk in light. As we live with that righteousness that comes through being in Christ, abiding in Christ, living as one who is identified with our Savior, this is what we need to focus on. This is what's important. And so there's going to be times in our lives when there are all kinds of distractions, all kinds of uh, temptations, uh, the people that we can't stand, the situations that we don't want to go through. But what we need to focus on is what God needs us to do. Because that's what we're supposed to do in the first place. And we believe, I believe, that God empowers us to do those things through His grace. So that's what's been on my mind. Blessing.